This little video shows you how uh, to fo how to copy a folder or a um, file element to uh, the clipboard with a Windows Universal um, app. So what we have here is that's my demonstration app, and I have here first to copy an entire folder to the clipboard, and, and uh, after that to uh, to I re reuse it in, in the in the data explorer. So we have here now. I copy the element, then I go to the explorer and I may insert that. So it's copying now the entire folder. That's what happen what happens. Now when we go back again, when I now copy the uh, all items of a folder, then I done have done this now. Ah, here uh, we first uh, did this one. Now we go this one. We copy it. Now these are the sub items. Um, I show you all that on the code. What happens on the code is we don't need him anymore. Yep. <coughs> Here we have the uh, depending code. Here's first we have our uh, uh, sub items. That's uh, a bit easier. Um, to do that, you need a folder, a storage folder, and we get the storage folder by storage folder is a wait uh, from the storage folder class get folder from path with a with a path uh, given there, and then we create uh, we take all. Uh, by get items, uh, all storage items into a I read only list with uh, the, uh, sub elements uh, storage I, I storage items, and then we take have to take um, a data package. The data package is given by. Uh, the Windows application da tra data transfer. That's the namespace, and when you have that, you have a new. Cre we create a new data package, and the data package uh, there we set all uh, items which we which we have got there. Uh, we set it on there, and then we try to copy all that stuff, move that that stuff into the uh, clipboard. So that's what happens on the first case. Uh, storage folder here we create a folder then we get all items from the folder and now then we have a folder list with all sub items and then we create a data package and from the data package we copy all that stuff into the data pack package and then we set the data package into the clipboard now the second case it's uh, also you won't find a lot of uh, details or examples there on the internet. First, we have the folder itself, the same what we had there, and then we create a list of storage folders. And if in the other type, we had a I read only list. First, we recreate a list with one item, and then we add uh, with, with we add into this uh, container the actual uh, folder item and then the, the items the same we have a data package set the items into the data package we copy that stuff and then we copy everything into the clipboard so i hope i could show you this code how it works now gone on again And we are working on Windows Universal Platform. So once again, when we have here this little example, let's take another one, doesn't matter. It's not with those big, uh, it, let's take this one, okay, doesn't matter. Then we have, uh, first we copy it copy entire the, the entire folder then when we are in the folder 
Uh, again. First we delete all that stuff. Bam, bam. Now we are inserting what we have in the clipboard. Oh, there are big mo uh, movies. So we have, I may cancel that. Ah, yeah, okay, it, it works. Why not? Takes a minute. Now oh, that's too big. Okay, now we, you see it's copying and uh, the movie uh, MOV files are movies are uh, too big. And the same happens when we take the, maybe this picture one. We take this one, copy all items, sub items. And then when we are inserting it, then we have the inserted item. So I hope I could show you how uh, copying and uh, copying files and uh, the clipboard, clipboard works on universal platform apps.